Thank you. Thank you very much, sweet mustache. Let's go for a comedy ride, a mustache ride. How's it going, open stage? I have not been here as often as I'd like. I've been traveling a lot this summer, and still American Airlines is charging me for emotional baggage. American Airlines is uh, based out of Dallas here. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, they're number one in uh, a lot of areas. Uh, lost bags, number one on American Airlines. Uh, poor customer service, number one. But they think they're the best. Do you know why? Because they're American. America. Thanks, man. I was traveling, and... Uh, a TSA guy saw that I had uh, rupees with me, not roofies, rupees, which is the Indian money. And he said, when was the last time you were in India? And I said, when was the last time you were in China? And he was a little confused and he's like, I've never been to China. And I was like, but your shoes and your costume are from China. This made him very angry. Hulk angry. TSA smasher rights. <laughs> See how I did that? <laughs> Every time it rains, the ocean goes nom, nom, nom. <laughs> That's a weird ass joke, man. <laughs> I, I love that joke. I, I, it was raining the other day and I'm like, that's really funny stuff. <laughs> My wife, she collects decorative R's because my last name is Root. Now people think we're pirates. <laughs> R. I forgot my next joke, so I'm gonna look. <laughs> I was on a cruise ship. Uh, I do a variety act. Uh, comedy, stand-up comedy is kind of new to me, but I've been doing variety for many years. I was working on a cruise ship, and a passenger, she saw one of my tattoos, and... Uh, she said, tattoos are very unnatural. And I said to her, is your hair color natural? And that ended our brief conversation. <laughs> now, what would make this story better if she had flown away on her judgmental broomstick? <laughs> I forgot my next joke, too. That's <laughs> That's, that's why I brought my little piece of paper. I'm just going to keep it out. Um, what's that disease where, you, where people can't remember things? Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. I can never remember that. Hey, but at least you don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Some people are like, man, you shouldn't make jokes like that. Alzheimer's is my biggest fear. Uh, my other biggest fear is Parkinson's, but if I get Parkinson's, I'm just going to act like I'm playing the air guitar all the time. <laughs> Some people having a laughter baby back there, that's fine. Um, some of you guys are like, man, that's offensive. Fine. Donate to Alzheimer's research. Donate to Parkinson's research. Get back at me. Breaking news, bird to the whistleblowers of the animal kingdom. <laughs> Just a few of you, that's fine. <laughs> Microsoft announced this week a new place for their users to crash. <laughs> but the best breaking news is prostitute was given community service for servicing the community. <laughs> That's funny, if you don't laugh at that, you, it's a win-win. <laughs> like that. That's a good time. I've invented a couple of things. Uh, Drama with Friends is a new app I'm working with. It's exactly like Facebook. <laughs> I'm writing a new book, it's called Dominatrix. <laughs> Dominatrix for dummies, thanks. What? <laughs> One person's into it, thanks. <laughs> Dominatrix, a dozen sold, all right, yeah, good times. I have a new product for women. It's called Shampoon. Summer's Eve already has the market corner. 
It's shampoo for your wettest areas. <laughs> Folks, I do yoga so I can do that joke. So I can put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> There's a, I have a, I see a lot of single people, and guys especially, especially, I can't even talk tonight, um, and they complain about being single. That's because they don't do yoga. I do yoga, and I'm married. Proof. <laughs> Not exactly the most scientific study there, but, you know, I'm just saying, guys, lots of women who are super flexible. Win-win. <laughs> My, uh, my thing with yoga is I breathe really heavily and it's a distraction to the class. I breathe in yoga like Chris Christie breathes when he breathes. <laughs> Don't groan, that's funny shit. <laughs> I, I breathe so heavily I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna be on Chris Hansen's To Catch a Predator. All right, we've made it through half my set. <laughs> I'm constantly frustrated by our policy, our nation's policy on drugs. We've created a civil war against our own citizens called the war on drugs. And there's nothing funny in that. We have 5% of the world's population in the United States and we have 25% of the world's prisoners. It's not funny at all. If you're African American, you're four times as likely to be arrested for marijuana possession than someone who looks like me, even with this mustache. <laughs> but I've written a few jokes to help me deal with the angst that I feel about our nation's failed drug policies and our total lack of empathy towards drug users and people who are addicted. Let's get going. <laughs> I don't smoke pot very often. <laughs> Mainly because I don't like the smoke. It's smoky and it makes me cough and stuff. And I like to think I'm still an athlete even though those days are gone. <laughs> but there's this thing called a volcano. It's a vaporizer. I don't know if you, one whistle, one person. <laughs> One person knows, a couple of people not letting it out, but that's fine. Um, the volcano, I should have known I was going to get super high from the volcano. Not just super high, I got baked from the, from the <laughs> volcano. I got so high, I made love to mythological creatures. <laughs> Unicorns are so horny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's the one they liked. That's, it's insane. I was so high, I couldn't just hear music, I could see music, I could see the waves, and damn straight I surfed them. Yeah. I was in the Bahamas, and a guy said, weed or speed, weed or speed. And I was working, so I was like, no thanks, man. But thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Because, you know, he was thinking about my needs. Cocaine. Cocaine and love have almost the same effect. They put you in a better mood. They give you a higher self-esteem. And they give you a heightened sense of sexualness. <laughs> yeah, cocaine. <laughs> I mean love. Love, folks. <laughs> talking about love. I really don't know how people do cocaine and crystal. I can't even eat cheese. True story. <laughs> I just don't know how people do it, how they stay awake. I mean, I hate being awake. Awake sucks. I need a sleepy sleep dealer. Ambien. You guys got so quiet on me. My wife is away this weekend. My wife is away this weekend, so I had to roofie myself. <laughs> I'm kidding. She already knows that trick. She met Bill Cosby. <laughs> it's a callback to Tristan's set. <laughs> 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 J 
jello pudding. <laughs> I like to mix Valium and prune juice. It's a relaxative. <laughs> Here's a little tip. If you ever do too much LSD, antacid will not help. <laughs> but if you spill it, be careful. You don't want to be tripping on antacid. One thing that will help you sober up is getting naked when you're on LSD and meeting the police and going into a mental institution for a few days. <laughs> True story. Mm. Solid plan. So, what's that? Solid plan. Solid plan. Been there, done that, you know, don't care to do it again. Um, imagine if you opened up a bottle of antacid and little ants came out that we're all like high on LSD. <laughs> and then we could give them LSD ice cream. We'd call it Trippin' Dots. <laughs> I I'm not looking at you. I'm just, look I'm just looking at someone going like, dude, get off the stage, bro. <laughs> Coffee pot, two of my favorite things. <laughs> I'm kidding, I can't drink coffee. It gets me way too high. <laughs> I do have one more thing for you this evening. My sister-in-law, my sister-in-law bought me a gift card to Home Depot for my birthday. And you guys get to have fun with her gift card. Thank you, I'm Jonathan Root, have a beautiful night.